right, what's up guys? Ivan from Previous.com. And if you remember a while back, I made a quick video about that I wanted to use my XCarve CNC machine to try out PC board milling. Uh, I finally got around to it, made it work. So today I'm gonna show you uh, what I achieved. And in upcoming videos, I'm gonna go with the step-by-step -step procedure with all the settings, the software I used. And I'm doing it this way because if I did it all in one video, it would be way too long. Uh, so keep a lookout for upcoming videos that's gonna explain each step uh, with all the settings and everything. Uh, so without further ado, let's go check that out and I'll be right back uh, with the results. All right, so the first thing I did, I created this simple PC board, as you can see it right here in EasyEDA, which is an online service where you can create your own PC board and also order PC board from them. And in the past, I've done a tutorial uh, video on that and you can check it out right here and I'll leave it a, a link in the description as well. Uh, so I created this one. It has a seven segment display in the middle and two 10 pin headers on each side. One could be used for in and the other one for out. Uh, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna go really fast. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go through all the settings, how I created this. Uh, I'll make separate videos for each one of these steps. Uh, so once this is created, I can export right here, generate the Gerber files. Gerber files are gonna be used in the next program to actually create G-code. So that next software is called FlatCam. And as you can see here, I imported one of these Gerber files and created G-code for the XGARF to actually cut the traces on the um, copper PC board. Uh, so like I said, we're gonna go through all these settings in separate videos. One will be for the EZDA, another one for the flat cam, and another one for the easel or uh, the XGARF software. So now that I have my Gerber files, I can then export to G-code. And now we're gonna go see uh, the XGARF at work. All right, let me show you how I set up the X-Carve really quick. Uh, this is the dust shoe. I'm not gonna use it this time because I want you guys to see what's going on. And this is the uh, board we're gonna use. And as you see here, I have this clamp system. Uh, this clamp system I found on Thingiverse. Uh, the guy who designed this did a really great job. You have this L shape here and there's a little lip here. So the board sits just above the actual X-Carve. So it's very useful because if I wanna drill holes, once I'm done uh, carving the board, I can just go through the board without hitting the x carve. So I don't need a sacrificial layer. And these clamps are adjustable like this and this. And the holes fit the x carve perfectly. Uh, so I invite you guys to check this out. This is a great design and props to the guy who designed it. I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description as well. Uh, so to insert the board, I just put it on the L shape like so. And then I use this guy to clamp it down on this way, tighten it down, and this one, like so. And there you go, this ain't going nowhere. And like I said, there's a space here between the board and the x car. So that's a great system. All right, so now we have our board set up. Now we're ready to carve, but we need good bits. Uh, I found these guys, these are really, really sharp. Uh, these are V-bits, 30 degrees. They have the little collet here, and this one is for drilling. That's a one millimeter, as you can see. And these are really high quality. I'm gonna leave a link in the description where I found these. I found these on eBay, and they're sold by a guy uh, named Drillman1, uh, very appropriate. They're not too expensive, they're not cheap either, uh, but they do a great job, and you'll see that uh, as we go along here. Uh, the collet is very useful because when you're changing bits from carving to drilling, you don't have to re-level your Z-axis because the distance here is the same on each one. And you'll see that when I change bits. So get good bits if you're going to do any sort of milling. Uh, basically, this is what makes it work. And this is very sharp and very thin, as you can see, so we can make very small traces. So there you go. All right, so I turned on the X controller for the X carve, so the motors are actually getting power. And now I'm in the uh, Inventable software easel. And all I have to do, I created the files in FlatCam. So I'm going to go File, Import G code. And I'm going to choose the file that I created, which is right there. Whoops. Right here. So I have three files I have the PC board, which is the actual traces. 
I have the drill, which is uh, the holes that are going to go to, uh, to fit the components. And then I have this other one, which has removed copper. Uh, the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the traces first. Then I'm going to run this one to remove the excess copper. So that way I don't have uh, copper lying around the board that could be hard to solder when I get to it. So I'll show you that. And in the end, I'm going to do the test drill. Uh, so let's say I start with the first one here. I'm going to open this one. And here, if I zoom in a little bit, you're going to see the traces right there. Now, I can see I didn't do the origin very well, but I can work around that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do separate videos for each one of these steps and explain everything in more detail. Uh, today, I'm just going to go and show you a time lapse of all the steps. So now I'm ready to uh, start carving. So I'm going to click on Carve. I'm going to home the machine first, and then I'm going to set the uh, X, Y, and Z home. And then I'm going to be ready to go. So I'm going to change the camera so you can see the movements on the X card. so the traces are done what I'm gonna do now I'm not gonna change a bit I'm still gonna use the same bit and I'm gonna remove the extra copper like the one between the traces uh, this is optional but it makes soldering a lot easier uh, so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna load that g-code and restart the machine and uh, we'll see it in action so let's check that out So that part is finished that part takes a lot of time that's optional uh, but by removing the copper between the traces there's less chance that when you're soldering you're soldering two joints uh, so but it is optional if you're very good at soldering you don't need this part so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna raise the head and I'm gonna change the bit to the drill bit to drill the holes Right, so now I'm going to change the drill bit for uh, the uh, engraving bit for the drill bit. And since they have this collet, I just have to push it all the way through. And I don't have to remeasure my z-axis because these distances between the bits are the same. So that's very useful. So let me do that. And by the way, while I'm changing the bits, I'm not powering down the machine, so the stepper motors are holding it uh, exactly in the same position. Uh, so now I loaded the new G-code, the drill G-code. 
So now I'm going to start the machine. It's going to drill the holes. Let's do that. All right, so there we go. The board is finished. Uh, we did the trays, we removed the copper, and we did all the, the holes. Um, it looks pretty good. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to remove it, and let's go back to the main camera and check it out. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, three boards that I did prior to this one. Uh, this is my first attempt, and I don't know if you can see here. Let me see. You see this line here? It didn't go deep enough, uh, so I had to increase the depth to actually uh, do all the traces properly. Uh, now, in another video, I'll probably try to uh, use uh, the uh, software Chili Pepper uh, that actually probes the board and adjusts the G-code so everything is very leveled. So I'll, I'll do a video on that when I get a chance to try it out. So, and this is the other one, the second one, that was done with Easy EDA directly and the routing of the trace were done by the software itself. And this is the one that I made so I modified the traces to give me more space to do the soldering. And as you can see, the copper was removed. So when you go to solder, it's not going to jump uh, between traces. Uh, so there you go. That's the one we just did. It looks pretty good. So if I flip it around, I can put my components on them. Let me try like this and my two headers like so. So there you go. Fits perfectly. And now I just need to solder it, <laughs> which is the fun part. So let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up. All right, so there you go, guys. Hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, like I said at the beginning, this was just an introduction to show you all the steps to making a board using a CNC machine. Uh, in the coming weeks, I'm going to be releasing once in a while um, a video on a specific process, and I'll show you all the settings and uh, in the software used and all that stuff. Uh, so keep a lookout for that. And uh, in between those, I'll be releasing more uh, tutorials for you guys as well. So that'll do it for today. So like I always say, my name is Ivan, and I hope to catch you guys real soon. Take care.